Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. Joe Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Las Vegas. We're actually standing in Caesar's Palace because, in case you can't tell, I like to eat. We've come to Vegas numerous times. We've eaten at buffets at the Wynn, the Bellagio, Harris, and I was doing research. What do people say is the best buffet? And they said the back and up. That's where we're at. We're gonna eat in it, share it with you. Then I heard there's some crazy animatronics here in Caesars. We're gonna look for that too. Hope you like this kind of thing. If you do, you should like this video. Subscribe to our channel, comment down below. It's always appreciated, much love. But it's time to do it. Step right up, let's go for this ride. We're trying to get a lay of the land, because you see this might think this buffet. This is one of like three of these that we've seen. This place is massive. First part, we, looks like we have stuff. Asian inspired crab ragoons, pot stickers. I'm looking over here. Pork barbecue buns. Again, shumai, leek cake dumplings, and some barbecue buns. Ooh, some glass noodles. Kimchi fried rice. I'll take a. I, I don't want to go crazy because rice is going to fill me. It is. This one I'm looking for. Full roasted pig, lechon. You see the crispy skin? I love stuff I've never seen before. Look at this. Bloody Mary deviled egg. We have caviar over smoked salmon, mousse, and a puff pastry. First meal down, it looks like our deviled egg went to, my deviled egg went over, went to HE double hockey sticks there. We also got some bread with burrata. I like the chutney on it. The chutney is very good, adding the sweetness to it. A little crunch, a little sweet, the cream of the cheese. Like the saltiness of the, good the crunch. chutney is the sweet. Mm -hmm. First thing tasty, we also got some lemonade and I got a raspberry iced tea. We also ordered wars that never came. And they also sat us at a table that was full when we came back. So service, starting off on the bad foot, food starting off on a good foot. So we have a caviar with salmon mousse wrapped in a puff pastry. You get a lemon first, then you get the smokiness of the salmon and the saltiness of the caviar, very well balanced. Don't be intimidated, deviled egg's good. Well, I'm intimidated obviously because uh... So Joy's gonna try the deviled egg. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be a jalapeno. It looks like more like an olive. It is olives. In fact, olive is the main flavor you're gonna get. It's a very good, it's like paprika and olive. Creamy, olivey. I taste the olive. Olive is the pronounced flavor is, of the deviled egg. And I am a big fan of deviled eggs. It's actually really nice. Mm -hmm. I was afraid that it was gonna be like a jalapeno. I don't know why. Uh, some might even know, I do portray the clown character of Satan in some sideshows. So anything deviled, I am a fan of. This, I approve. Trying the lechon now. The skin is a lot chewier and less crunchy than I was expecting, but tasted good. Just About to try a piece of the meat. We got a little lechon dipping sauce. It's a soy-based sauce. I want to love it. Meat was a little dry. Really? Pork rated one of the best buffets in Vegas. I'm surprised. Let's let's chase down that pork with the pork bun. Sorry, crunchiness. Pork bun. Pork bun better. Good amount of steam. Good flavor. The barbecueness to it. I had another piece of the lechon. More, more like a edge piece. It was crispy on the set, but the outside was very juicy. I might have had a bad first piece, but it's weird. Half the skin was good and crispy. The other half was chewy. Half the pork itself was dry. The other half was juicy. So yeah, out of the two pieces that I had, the other piece, one piece was like drier than one of the other pieces. Um, the skin that came off the top of the, the, the piece of pork itself, um, that one was more chewier than like these ones. Mm -hmm. And when we were eating, our server did come over, apologize, and gave us our water. <laughs> we have an Asian section, but I think we're heading to the meat. We got 
got some quails. We got some turkey. And the mint still sounded good too. I got some mint cherry cherry and Joey's yeah. going with it as well. And this is one of the main things I wanted to come try. Roasted bone marrow. Chicken waffle. Wool grail lamb T-bone. I think we got plate number two. I, I didn't even get to the meat. I just got too excited. <laughs> and when people say, what separates this buffet from others and babies? Back and all, look at this. Quail with chimichurri sauce, roasted bone marrow, and a lamb T-bone. The horror. Oh boy, the horror. Oh, flexing, flexing. Oh my god, stop playing with your food. All right. That is delicious, the mint cherry cherry sauce was definitely the right option. The fact that we have little mini quails, this is out of this world delicious. Yeah, the sauce is delicious, but what I love about the quails, you might be saying, why eat such a little bird? Well, after you take off the wings and legs, that whole body is all meat. They actually deboned it. It is amazing. And now, the thing that I came here to eat, the bone marrow. They give you a little nice crispy toasted bread. But this joint scrapes out that marrow onto the bread. It's like meaty butter. My new favorite thing? New favorite part. <laughs> Yeah, to leave meat butter right there. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat some meat butter. Now I feel bad for this lamb. One, because it's really tough as I'm cutting it, so that's a bad sign for me. But that marrow has to be one of the best things I've ever tried in my life. Ever, food-wise, top 10. So I don't know how anything could beat it following that up. I'm mistaken, the lamb could follow it. <laughs> Not as good as the marrow, but not bad at all. This is delicious. And there you were afraid because it was a little bit too, uh... So good at me eating my vegetables. Wow, that's a first. We even got the bone more on the lamb when we did. All gone. Like barbecue train wreck fries. Bacchanel sliders. Gumbo, look at the crawfish in it. Oh, look at all the good meats. Ooh. The ceviche. Campancho, look at those shrimp. Stuff like duck carnitas quesadilla. This is what makes this spot look yummy. For al pastor tacos. We'll finish this plate with a shrimp tostada. So we have our plate of meat. We have tri-tip. We have brisket. We have prime rib. We have ham. We have bacon. We're gonna try them all. So, beef, 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 pig, pig. <laughs> so, I know I said the bone marrow was my new favorite. I'm not good with bacon. This might be my new favorite. Joy is trying the tri tip. Well, is what she's talking about. Oh, she's okay. eating her second bite. Tri tip was good. <laughs> Lots of flavor. A little salty, but that is adding to that flavor. But if you are sensitive to too much salt, it was very salty. Mm. Drink enough water. But don't get full on water. You will get full on this stuff. <laughs> Number two, meat, the brisket. It's actually nice and tender. Um, you haven't even been in your mouth yet. Well, cutting it, like look how easy that just like went apart. Mm, smoky. I love like the tar on the outside. And Do I, I love how the inside is like, there Super. you can see the smoke ring. You see the moisture in the brisket. It definitely is a lean cut. It is a good cut of brisket. I'm so happy with it. Mm -hmm. I changed my mind. This might be my new favorite. <laughs> <laughs> the meat's pretty good here so far. And now I'm gonna try ham. I'll be honest, I'm not a ham eater. We asked for the slab bacon and the guy gave Joy ham. But we're not gonna let it go to waste because I don't believe in wasting food. Tastes like ham. <laughs> it's very tender, it's good, but 
I, I like more beef and like bacon meat. The ham's it's not. I wouldn't waste my stomach capacity on the ham. I'm gonna say this prime rib, even though it is a little tough to cut through. A little tough, but delicious flavor. I'd rather eat this over the ham, but I'd rather have the tri-tip and the brisket over the prime rib. And now, it's bacon! Salty. It's bacon! I mean, how is it not be good? I love seeing the meat, then the layers of fat on each side. Then the skin looks a little crispy. Look at that crispy skin on the outside. Oh yeah. The meats are done. Now it's time for some Mexican. And after we finish this, I saw some Mexican beverages up there that look quite tasty. So we have tacos al pastor. We have a shrimp tostono. And we have dog confit quesadilla. I'm gonna start with the shrimp. Okay. Looks like we have some Oaxaca cheese. A little tiny shrimp on top of what looks like refried beans. Sounded crunchy. The cheese and the beans outweigh the flavor of the shrimp. It is crunchy, it is tasty. The shrimp sadly are an afterthought on the flavor style though. But it's tasty. Next, tacos al pastor. What? It's very delicious, the meat is tender. A little piece of pineapple added flavor. The shell's a little chewy, but it has a good flavor. And, uh, and the duck. Duck from feet quesadilla. It's so cute. <laughs> I wanted to love this because I love duck. Out of all three of these, don't get the duck confit quesadillas. Yeah. You live and learn. Like, I'll be honest with you all at home. There was a lot of food here. We're trying to try a little bit to share with you. If I had my way, I'd eat my weight in bone marrow and those lamb. But then I would only be showing you bone marrow and lamb and you want to see the whole buffet. And that's what we're trying to do. Here we have some new beverage. Pineapple mango drink. Ubi horchata, purple yam with evaporated milk and cinnamon, and strawberry kiwi virgin mimosas. We're up to some seafood with shrimp and grits, grilled octopus, steamed crab legs. I like we have dungeon stem. We had regular crab legs. We also have chilled crab legs if you don't want them hot. Ooh, lobster claw, followed by whelks and Cajun poached prawns. I never ate a whelk before. Yeah, it's Joy, I'm giving her one. Joy, you want a prawn? It's your favorites with the eyes. <clears throat> and all the garnishes you can eat for your seafood. I like the horseradish there. It's atomic horseradish. I think we went for our last plate of food before we hit the dessert. Joy's more a dessert person than I am. But I still I still take a gander. We got some fresh seafood. I'm excited for this baby octopus. And this ube. Ube horchata. And this pineapple mango nada. Got in it. I know. <laughs> so I'm just gonna run through the things I'm excited for. It's good. It really just tastes like pineapple mango. But you get the little heat of the tahini at the very end. Ube horchata. Ube horchata. Somebody needs to set up an IV and just put it in me. <laughs> I'm gonna drink my water cup and go over and close up. And this is my dessert. Don't skip on this. A little whelk. I never ate a full whelk before. Figured. Why I can a try and you take the shell home a little souvenir there. 
I don't think I'm supposed to eat that far. A little chewy, but really good flavor. Okay, baby octopus. It looks like he's sitting on a potato. He was sitting on a potato. But he's got a little char from the grill with the earthy flavor of potato. He is out of this world. Joy's gonna try shrimp grits, but before, it's funny, she doesn't like spicy stuff, but because of the culture she grew up in, root-based spicy, Joy can handle. So she's trying the atomic horseradish. Is it fresh grated horseradish? Is it really atomic? It is fresh grated. I didn't get to try it. Helps clean the sinuses out. I think it's funny. I think it's the same. Like, I am with root spice, not the pepper spice. Yeah, Joy can handle all root spice. Culture I grew up with. Yeah. I was saying, I think. Atomic what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said atomic what? But then that's me. <laughs> it's a little more spicy than right out of the jar. <laughs> Good though. Shrimp grits have a little barbecue around them. They are the little tiny shrimp. <laughs> Okay, we're hard taste on me and cheesy. So we have some cheesy grits. How are the shrimp? Um, are they also an afterthought with being those little tiny shrimp? Yeah. They maybe shouldn't use the tiny shrimp. The barbecue in it is like, um, it's not bad. It's not something that I would put in there, but the grits themselves. All right. There was also a bunch of sushi, but I haven't had good luck with Vegas sushi before. And my thing is, I live next to the ocean where I get some of the best sushi in the world. I'm not gonna go to the middle of the desert and try sushi. So there was sushi, if that's what you're into, but I'm not gonna eat that. Desserts, mini pecan chocolate tarts, death by chocolate cupcakes, orange peanut butter, rainbow cakes. There's a whole make your own crepe station. Joy's grabbing us some espresso cones to try. Mini chocolate donuts. Some fresh fruit if that's your thing. Vietnamese coffee cup. Coffee white chocolate mousse layered with chocolate glaze. Joy, do you even tear me suit? Oh, she wants her own. I do. I was gonna just take a little taste. She's like, no, I want one. Ooh, lemon panna cotta. I may not be a dessert person, but I will take a little nibble of that. We have some vegan strawberry cakes, raspberry panna cotta. Joy, you want strawberry giggly? It actually is branded Jello. Sign up for upside down cake. And there's a chocolate lava cake if you want it, Joy. There's one left. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? No. You don't want the chocolate lava cake? Fine. We also have cinnamon rolls and egg tarts, pina colada, banana cream pie, creme brulees, ubi chiffon cakes, berry cheesecake, strawberry shortcake, and cotton candy cupcakes with cotton candy. So we got platters of desserts, but when it comes to me and dessert, this is where I'm at. I think we did good for dessert. Here's what's funny. Here's Joy's platter of desserts. Here's mine. <laughs> what did you do? All right, I got one of these too. I just wanted a taste. She's like, I want the whole thing for myself. <laughs> Very yummy. I'm so rich in the chocolate on the top. I love that the chocolate covered Espresso bean is gold leaf. And there it went. No more gold leaf. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's there. You found gold and you ate it. We're trying espresso cones. Really? That's gonna take forever. Espresso cones. Delicious. It actually is a waffle shell covered in chocolate. I thought it was just a chocolate sleeve. Great flavor. And the last thing I have to try. 
banana gelato. For me, this is a perfect Tyler cleanser, great way to end the meal. My dessert, devoured. <laughs> Thai iced tea, good, not as sweet as some Thai teas. Thai iced teas, but very good flavor. Banana ice cream, cream banana gelato, whatever you want to call it. Greatest way to end the meal. Joy is powering through all of her desserts. She said the lemon thing was nice and light. Very tart though. Very lemony flavor. Mm -hmm. The peanut butter Oreo dream, or the Oreo peanut butter dream, I think it was called. Um, the peanut butter mousse is the same thing. It's got a real like peanut butter flavor to it, but the mousse just was so nice and light to it. It didn't feel like it's um, too heavy, which is good. So, and then the Oreo crumble, um, it was good. I would just done it without it, just because I'd rather like the whole thing just be that peanut butter mousse. But now what we're all waiting for her to cut that lava cake in half. Joy, that was very anticlimactic. I wanted the lava to erupt everywhere. I know. I kind of did too. Mm. I'm really liking their mousse. This is another one of their, it's a ube mousse. Well, we like the ube horchata, so we're just on an ube kick here. I like that we're eating all the colors of the rainbow. We have some purples, we have some orange, we have some green. I had a little yellow with mine. You had yellow too. I did. And if we only want to wonder, they did actually have a rainbow cake. Do I want to try all these little fun things? She enjoys them. And as you can see, she, she doesn't just try, she, she devours them. That's so good though. Joy, the mint chip gelato is what's filling Joy. She said she has just hit the wall. I think that means we ate enough, Joy. I think it means we ate enough. We came, we devoured, I was going to say we came out unscathed. But that's not true. Joy's uh, crab claw cut me right when I was uh, opening it for her. So as we were walking, Joy, what did you think of the buffet? I'm so overstuffed. It is full. Bacchanal, I'm sure it's named somewhat after Bacchus. Remember that little guy in Fantasia chugging the wine, being gluttonous? That's how we feel right now. <laughs> But my final opinion of the buffet, it probably is the best buffet we ever had here in Vegas. But the meats were the stars of the show. The seafood was mediocre. The Mexican food was good. The Asian food was good to above good, but the meat was out of this world. So if you're a meat eater, this is for you. Eat all the meat and drink the ube horchata. I'd recommend that. We left the buffet, we walked to the very back of the forum shops to make our way to the Atlanta show. Happens every hour on the hour from noon to 8 p.m. An animatronic story of the rise and fall of the city of Atlantis. Animatronics, yes. Effects, yes. I cannot wait. We see Joy waiting for the Atlanta show here. But if you can behind it, we actually have an aquarium. Got some rays, some big fish. It looks like Atlantis fell. We already have some ancient Roman sculptures. Even have sharks at the Atlantis show. And look at this awesome, epic building. That's what I love about these casinos. The theming, the building designs. I mean, mind you, the Cheesecake Factory. And the Nike Swoosh logo. Take away from the full, like, immersive experience, but it still is cool. Oh, we got water rising.
crazy about these forearm shops is when you look at guest service it literally is just another Simon Mall. We have so many of them on Long Island. If only they all look this cool. All the wise scholars and the one naked dude. That would be me. Looking at the cool dome ceiling and how it's painted to look like it's actually sculpted. Creating false perspective, depths of field that don't exist. And as we head out, the only other amazing cool thing, I mean, this whole spot is cool, but that I've never seen before, a round escalator. That's right. 
It might not be petrified, but it's round. We're going down an escalator, rotating around, which is good, because after that buffet, I can't do any more stairs. The buffets here are good, but for the price value, you eat, and you eat, and you eat to make your money's worth. And then sometimes, you eat beyond full. And we all know what full is, and beyond full is not a good thing. But round escalator! The stuff you see in Vegas. Look at this. You don't have to even go to Italy to see such beautiful mosaics and sculptures. We came, we saw, we ate way too much food. But I would say that was a good buffet, best in Vegas. We had some dessert, and then second dessert was eating up an amazing animatronic show. So outdated, so awesome. Good story, The Fall of Atlantis. I like a show that is free. That is right, free. You don't see that much free stuff in Vegas. You can come into the mall, go to the, fo the forum stores, go to the back of them and watch a free show. I think it's cool, and it has animatronics. We ate a good buffet. I think we'd call it. I think so. The back and up here at Caesars and the Fall of Atlantis. The Atlantis Water Show. Been there, done that. Remember folks, safe travels. Good eats. And live life. I know, we have to get her back to the hotel room tour. You want to hear now? Okay. I'm going to leave it on one last thing. Buffet was good. One thing was missing. We need a real Roman vomitorium in there. So you just keep eating. You only have a 90 minute time limit, so you gotta eat fast. And I got too full. We just gotta get rid of something, make some more room, and keep it going, you know what I mean? You agree they think you sh they should add it? Plan. She actually agreed. I thought she was gonna say I'm crazy and weird, which I am. But this is why she's my wife and I love her. 